of the western part of the city, like a big shopping high street actually with lots of clothes shops and other stores. So Christmas shopping was on its way tonight here really um, when this attack here happened and there's still many police cars coming in here. Uh, the whole area is under lockdown. And it all reminds a little bit really to, to the attacks that happened earlier this year in Nice um, when a truck drove into a big group of people on, on a festival. Now there's another police car coming through, actually an ambulance. Mm -hmm. And we know that those, those markets or those uh, festivities, those festivals on the streets, um, they leave people exposed in a very vulnerable way because uh, there was a lot of talk about this after the attack of Nice. Uh, actually, everybody can rent such a truck uh, and turn this into a, a fatal uh, weapon when he drives mm -hmm. it into a big uh, group of people. The, uh, the only thing he needs is a, is a driving license, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we, we have we've been told by police um, numerous times that this idea of absolute safety um, you know, doesn't exist and, and we can't expect that. Although safety measures have been increased, especially at these these Christmas markets. Oliver, give us an idea, too, um, ab about where you are. And, and we know the place was crowded when this um, this apparent terror attack or attack occurred. Um, was there then a rush to get away from this scene? I mean, have you been able to talk to people about what happened um, immediately after the truck plowed into the crowd of people? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's still very chaotic, really, and the police is obviously trying to protect people and also to be not disturbed as they're currently actually trying to help the injured people on, the, on location. So for that reason, they're trying to keep uh, people away from, from the place where it happened. And if you take a look, you're actually able to see the, those lights here at the, at the very end. Uh, of the street and this is where the Christmas market is. This is a very famous church, the Kaiser Wilhelm Gedächtniskirche and right around that church is a square, many shops, many stores and tonight and in the, in the recent days there is a, there is a big Christmas market with Christmas stalls and uh, this is exactly where, where things happened just a little while ago. And, and for people joining us who may not be familiar with what how these Christmas markets are, are put together and constructed. I mean, these are basically, you know, these are stands, right, that are close together, the, the, you know, the passageways, the, the corridors through, through these are usually somewhat narrow and, and they're crowded just by nature, right? So you automatically, you almost always have a crowd of people there, don't you? Yeah, right, that's what I mean. That's what I mean when, when I say that's, uh, that leaves people in a very vulnerable condition doesn't it i mean you have you have many people uh, squeezed into a tiny tiny sidewalk maybe you know there are cars on the street so people and those wooden stalls they kind of like concentrate on the sidewalk and people doing uh, their shoppings on the one hand side uh, but also having like a, a, a mild wine on the other hand side and everything is like everybody squeezes together trying to make their way through through the through the shopping crowd and then <clears throat> the other people who came there for the Christmas market so you do have a huge number of people usually at these Christmas markets and just Im imagine if you drive a truck into into such a scene um, uh, uh, how how dangerous this can get and and it gives people uh, almost no chance to like run away because the next problem is that it's happened it's happened so quickly that um, you don't actually realize uh, what's what's happening here and this is another parallel that I'm seeing here to the attack that happened uh, earlier this year in Nice uh, when most of the people did not actually even see the truck coming. Yeah, and that. Could have, yeah, been the case t tonight as well. Um, we understand too that that entire area there behind you, um, Oliver, is on lockdown right now. We can hear again the police and the ambulance sirens there going through. Um, Oliver, we're going to let you um, go back and see if you can gather some more information for us. We've got some information coming in, reaction coming in on social media right now. Um, yeah, you can imagine it has been inundated with videos of the incident. Um, we're gonna share some with you. A German journalist from the newspaper 
um, Berliner Morgenpost was live on Facebook shortly after the attack. Now, the video that you're looking at right there shows the immediate panic and the chaos and the aftermath. Um, let's just take a look here for a second now. That. Es liegen hier leider Verletzte rum. Okay. You can hear the reporter, he's on FaceTime Live, he's speaking in German, he's talking about uh, being able to see wounded people there, the chaos. And this is, as we understand it, is directly after that truck plowed in to that Christmas market in Western Berlin. Another user posted um, this video on Instagram. A police officer is saying that everybody who hasn't seen anything must leave the scene. That's what you're looking at right there. All right, we are now hearing from police that a suspect, the suspect has been apprehended and arrested. That is just coming across right now. Police here in Berlin saying the suspect, we assume that means the driver of the truck who had fled right after plowing into the crowd of people at that Christmas market has been apprehended and has been arrested. Let's take a look at um, where this apparent attack took place. There are, of course, Christmas markets all over the German capital. Are we going to take a look at that? Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at that. There, um, they're all. We've got a map here for you just to show you. The Christmas markets, I mean, we are just several days um, away from Christmas. Um, this is, you know, high season for Christmas markets here. What you're looking at right now is an overview of Western Berlin Breitscheidplatz there. That is the heart of the Old West Berlin. And that is where the market would have been. You see there, there are two main thoroughfares there that almost converge. And there in the center is the Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church. And around that church is where the, um, the Christmas market is. My colleague Daniel Winter is here at the table with me. Daniel, any more information, any more Factoids that are coming in about what's happened? Uh, well, I've been uh, checking what uh, the newspaper Bild has been saying, and they've received uh, some reports on the ground uh, that the truck itself has a Polish number plate, uh -huh. so that it may have been uh, rented or may just be originally from uh, Poland. That, okay. uh, of course, is no way to identify the, the people who were sitting inside. Um, also, information coming in that all of the roads to this area in Berlin where this attack had happened are now blocked. So people cannot get through there. Only emergency vehicles will be able to get through there from now. That's uh, a sign of how seriously the police are taking this. Yeah, um, definitely. And if you are joining us right now, we just want, want to remind you, I mean, this is a story that is still in flux. Um, a truck has plowed into a crowd of people at a crowded Christmas market in Western Berlin. Nine people, according to police, nine people confirmed dead, at least 50 people injured. We understand the suspect, the driver of that truck who fled the scene has now been apprehended and is now in police custody. All right, we wanna go back now to our correspondent. Are we gonna go back to Melinda? Let me ask, is Melinda, just trying to get a cue here from my producer, ready to head back. Okay, let's go over then to our political correspondent, Melinda Crane. M Melinda, have you been able to get any more information from authorities about what's happening right now? We're trying to confirm that right now, but at this time I cannot uh, confirm uh, with any independent uh, basis that in fact that suspect has been apprehended and detained. Uh, we are trying to get additional confirmation on that at this moment and also as to the number of uh, wounded and dead. I also am hearing nine dead, confirmed dead at this time, but that is a number that can increase as you know. Um, yeah the kind of injuries that are caused by a truck ramming into pedestrians like uh, uh, that attack in Nice, uh, the death toll unfortunately does tend to mount. And Melinda, um, Daniel, my colleague here at the table was saying that there were reports that the license plate on this truck um, may have been from Poland. Um, have you been able to confirm that or have you heard anything 
about the license plate? No, we've seen uh, a, a report on that that also could not be confirmed at this time. As always, uh, you get a lot of information uh, coming in at moments like this, and it behooves us uh, to be very careful uh, to try to sort out that which is confirmed uh, from that, which perhaps is just uh, in the heat of the moment. So I cannot confirm that fact either. And Okay, Daniel, there's... If it, so, if it were, however, yeah. a vehicle uh, with a Polish plate, that wouldn't be that uh, unusual right. here in Berlin, which is, of course, very close to the Polish border. So, indeed, it could be a rental vehicle that just that uh, would be a piece of circumstantial evidence that wouldn't tell us all that much. Exactly, exactly. Daniel, there's also more information being reported. That's right. Um, I'm seeing this um, on the website of the newspaper Bild, a very mm. popular newspaper here in Germany. They're uh, quoting the DPA news agency that um, the driver uh, has been arrested and that um, his passenger is dead. So there was a passenger. That's what. Okay. That's the first information that we're hearing. Okay, right now. that's the first, and that will, would be the first time too that we have heard any mention of a passenger. Um, that's in right. The truck. But normally, um, a DPA is, is a fairly trustworthy news source. So. Um, I, have a, I imagine the, our, our team in the newsroom will be investigating that right away. Yeah, and um, if you are joining us right now, just want to let, we just want to let you know that um, there has been um, a, a tragedy at a Christmas market here in Berlin. At least nine people have been killed, 50 injured, when a truck plowed into a crowd of people at a Christmas market in Western Berlin. And on the scene for us is our correspondent, Oliver Salant. He's standing very close to where that tragedy unfolded. Oliver, what can you tell us now? Yeah, well, people here on, are uh, under shock, uh, uh, are like just standing behind this police barrier here behind me. And this is basically where where, where things happen tonight, where uh, a truck hit uh, several people, people in a big group of people, actually, and um, with, uh, unfortunately, many people killed as a result of that. And this is like a very, very busy area here. Uh, first of all, it's a high street area in the western par uh, part of the city here in Berlin, where people would do their Christmas shopping, uh, not only now, but it's generally a very popular shopping area. And, and apart from the from that, on that square where I'm standing now, this is a, a, a very popular Christmas market also. And people would go there after work and they would have a, a cup of mulled wine or just have something to eat there, uh, do some shoppings there, um, have a take a break. And and those those places they are very very crowded during the Christmas time, and. Um, they give a very good um, target, actually, unfortunately, we have to say that uh, when a truck uh, drives into these squares and, and Christmas market areas, um, he can potentially injure many people there. And we just want to remind our viewers that we're looking at live pictures um, of the, the scene where this tragedy unfolded earlier this evening here in the German capital. Um, a, a, it was a crowded Christmas market where a truck plowed into a crowd of people right now. Um, now we're seeing basically a, a, a sea of ambulances there. Uh, and that area where you are, Oliver, um, it is still on lockdown. Or has that situation changed? Well, by, with, with the moment they, uh, the news broke that they caught the, the potential, the, right. the, the, per, the, um, the person who, who drove this truck, uh, um, they actually opened one of the barrier tapes and allowed people now to get closer to the site. Mm -hmm. But still, um, obviously, you cannot walk through there. The Christmas market is closed. And there are still uh, ambulances coming in here. And um, so... Apparently, the, the biggest danger that this person is at large is over right now. So there's a, some, some kind of a relief that we can see here. But uh, people are still shocked. The market remains closed. And um, it's a very tense atmosphere here tonight. It is. It's certainly not the way um, we thought this evening was going to end. That is for sure. Um, we have a roundup of what we know so far about the suspected attack on a Berlin Christmas market. Let's just go through that 
and keeps you joining us right now. A truck plowed into crowds at a Christmas market. Police say nine people are dead and at least 50 injured. At least one suspect fled the scene and has now been apprehended. An investigation into whether the incident is a terror attack is underway right now. The Christmas market is at the Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church in western Berlin. The surrounding area is um, a central shopping venue. It's busy with Christmas shopping this time of year, Christmas just a few days away. We understand the truck hit crowds at about 8 p.m. local time on Berlin's Breitscheidplatz. Reports say that the vehicle mounted the sidewalk and then drove into the market, destroying a number of market stands. And again, that death toll right now is nine. All right, Oliver Sallet is standing by just outside from where the tragedy happened. Um, Oliver, do you have any more information? I mean, we've still got stuff coming in right now. Well, right. I mean, uh, as you've mentioned, the, the truck uh, drove into a very busy uh, Christmas market here um, uh, in the western part of the city. And many people were, uh, were here tonight to, um, to do their Christmas shopping. Um, when this truck drove in, um, nine people died. Um, we have a, a, a very, very tense situation here uh, uh, tonight. Uh, the, the whole area was under lockdown for quite a while until uh, police arrested the, the suspect here. And now people are coming back and, and coming back to the site here. And, um, but, but still, it is, it's a tragedy that happened tonight and many people are still um, on their way to the hospitals or are being treated at the moment. And the number of casualties is uh, potentially able to rise tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we, we're looking at live pictures right now. We can see the mayor of Berlin. You'll see him right now on the left side of your screen, um, Michel Müller. He is talking to local media. We um, assume giving them the latest about what he knows about what happened um, in Western Berlin tonight. Again, live scene, live pictures there from that, from the scene. We see ambulances. A lot of ambulances there, nine people dead, 50 injured. That's what police are telling us tonight. Daniel, what have you been able to find out? Um, well, so far, uh, Berliner Morgenpost, um, a big newspaper in Berlin, um, is quoting um, the mayor who you saw just there, Michael Müller, who says that the situation in um, this area is now under control. That's a quote from the mayor. Um, <clears throat> Facebook, the social network, has activated the safety check feature. Yes. So uh, that will allow people who are in the area to say that they're safe yep. and for their friends and relatives to check on them as well. Uh, police have also um, made it known to media here in Berlin uh, that people should stay at home um, and should not spread uh, false rumors about what's going on um, after this incident. Yeah, because we, we still, uh, we really have very little information right now. Um, our political correspondent, Melinda Crane, she's with us as well. And Melinda, we've been very careful this evening, um, you know, not to draw any conclusions or try to connect any dots that aren't there right now. Um, we just don't know that much about what has happened, do we? That's correct. Uh, and just a word also, uh, in terms of getting information, the police have apparently set up uh, information hotlines and also uh, help for people who are at that Christmas market who may be looking uh, for uh, friends or family who are missing. So there are channels for getting that information. But as you just heard, uh, the police uh, Twitter feed is saying uh, to uh, people in Berlin in general, please do not come into this area. We need all the roads clear so that we can get ambulances in and out of there uh, as freely as possible. And also emphasizing, as, uh, as I think Daniel or Oliver just mentioned, uh, that people should please not spread rumors. And right. as you may remember, uh, there was an attack uh, in Munich in the summer that was at first thought to be a terrorist attack. In fact, it proved not to be one, but a great many rumors were spread during that attack and the 
Munich police uh, were very, very frustrated by that and also issued calls to people saying, please do not go onto social media and spread things you do not know to be true because, in fact, that simply winds up being a distraction for all of those who are involved in uh, the effort uh, both to uh, try to uh, find the perpetrators and to help those who have been hurt. And we were just looking, Melinda, we, if um, people were just joining us, we were just um, looking at live pictures of the mayor of Berlin, um, Michel Müller. He was talking to reporters there. Um, hopefully we'll be able to find out exactly if he has any new information about what happened tonight. Has there been, Melinda, any, uh, any official reaction uh, to this tragedy? I'm seeing another press report that a police spokesperson has confirmed that uh, an alleged perpetrator has been detained, but I do not yet have an official confirmation from the Berlin police themselves. So we've seen a couple of media reports on that point, uh, but again, uh, no official confirmation as yet, at least from the police uh, reports that I am currently seeing. And uh, Melinda, are you, um, have there been any confirmation about there being a, a passenger in that truck um, who died in this incident? None that I have seen. Okay. Uh, isolated media reports, again, yeah, exactly. and could prove false. Exactly. I mean, we are seeing that um, come across the wires right now, but as you say, that is still yet to be confirmed. Uh, we, we have a police spokesman on German television saying that the um, passenger inside the truck died during that truck crash. And we're getting that right now coming across. So the latest information, let's just bring you up to speed on what we know right now. Nine people are dead, at least 50 people injured following an apparent um, attack on a crowded Christmas market in Western Berlin tonight around 8 p.m. local time. We understand that a truck plowed into a crowd of people. The driver fled. The, the suspect has now been apprehended by police. Po police are also confirming that there was a passenger in the truck and that the passenger died in that crash. That's what's coming across right now. Melinda, where I'm seeing things going across the wire here, maybe you're seeing them, um, it's several things going across uh, about uh, the German or the German chancellor saying anything. Are you seeing that? Any, any official reaction? I'm afraid I'm not seeing it at this moment. Uh, you have access to more up-to-date feeds, okay. I think, than I do. So I have not yet uh, seen that. Uh, we are but, seeing um, here suspect in Berlin Christmas market attack is dead. Um, that is coming across right now. The suspect in this Berlin Christmas market attack has died. Now, um, there's still some confusion right now. Are, are we? Is that the driver? Um, we did have one report from a police spokesman that the passenger had died. Um, now we're getting reports that the suspect in this attack is dead. Again, nine people confirmed dead, at least 50 people injured. Daniel, are you, you know, have you been able to glean anything with what's coming over German media right now? Yes, well, local media is um, confirming um, what you just said about uh, <clears throat> taking it from a police source that yeah. um, a passenger um, died and that the driver has been arrested. That's the latest that we see from local media reports, at least. Okay. Um, other information is um, along the lines of what the, um, the mayor is saying, basically confirming that the situation is under control. He says it's um, a, a very uh, dramatic situation, um, but he says that there is no further reason to be worried about what's happening at this place, that this situation is now um, at an end. Mm -hmm. um, the area is on lockdown and the police are asking people to stay away, not to come to the area mm -hmm. um, where this um, took place. The police are calling it an attack. Melinda, we're not going to get to Melinda, our reporter Oliver Sallet. I think he is back with us now. He is back with us. Um, they're at the scene where this um, apparent attack took place. 
Oliver, what can you tell us? I mean, what are you seeing right now? Well, many people who, who witnessed the attacks here are uh, still uh, at the scene, actually. Uh, so the area remains under lockdown. They only let the press get a bit closer. And uh, some person told me he was here uh, at, at one of these stalls that would be uh, on your left side here. Um, and, um, you know, visiting the, the famous Christmas market here when he suddenly heard uh, the, the sound of that truck uh, driving into the crowd of people that was here on the street so or on the sidewalk. And um, so people, there are still many people um, who witnessed the attacks here. Um, there are still ambulances coming in and... Uh, uh, the, the, the area remains under lockdown, although we know that the perpetrator uh, has been caught yet. And um, so there's some kind of a relief here as well tonight. Yeah, we're, we're getting reports now that the suspect um, in this um, attack is dead. That is what's coming across right now, that the suspect is dead. Um, we're also learning there has been reaction from the German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Um, she is mourning the death, uh, deaths of these, the nine people who were killed in this attack. We also understand that she she is now being briefed by the interior minister of the country as well as the mayor of Berlin on the situation. And we want to go now to our correspondent, Melinda Crane. Our Busiest shopping streets in the city, Breitscheidplatz is normally closed to traffic. Um, do have a truck. We know so far about the suspected attack on a Berlin Christmas market. Let's. has now reportedly been apprehended. Reports say that the vehicle mounted the sidewalk, drove into the market. The surrounding area, we understand, is also a, it's a central shopping venue, busy with
large amount of people here um, and and as you can imagine like there are many Christmas stalls here wooden stalls um, sort of like a big pedestrian area so if you have uh, so many people uh, here it's it's kind of hard to like find your way through all these uh, crowds and obviously um, the perpetrator found a, a very easy target here mm. and um, when he hit um, a big amount of people here tonight. And, you know, we understand that there are a lot of people, a lot of people around the world wondering um, if their loved ones, if their friends, family members here in Berlin, if they're okay tonight. Facebook, of course, is allowing people to you know, identify themselves as safe. And um, we've been following that, too. And, um, you know, it is um, just nonstop right now, um, the con concern about the situations on social media. Um, Oliver, have you been able to talk, though, to anyone? I mean, I, I know the police, you haven't been able to talk to the police, but kind of give us a sense um, of, of what's happening, at least right now. I mean, the area is still as we as we can see it's still under lockdown right that's correct yes um although they let the press now get a bit closer to the side since we know that uh the perpetrator was killed um there are still some people here who witnessed uh, uh the attack or who were at least visiting the christmas market when the attack happened so um, I've just spoken to somebody who was a bit away from here, like uh, uh, at one of these stalls, just a, a couple, say one or 200 meters away from here when he heard that, that uh, car uh, crashing, the truck actually crashing into several stalls and into several people, a big group of people that was here visiting the Christmas market tonight. And many people are still here uh, just, uh, you know, like waiting what's happening. People feel still shocked and, um, and, and don't know what to do really at this uh, sad evening. Yeah, I mean, it, this is horrific news. Um, certainly what um, we were not expecting to report on this Monday night, Christmas, just a few days away. Um, the Christmas market's understandably very full on a Monday night as we approach Christmas. My colleague Daniel Winter here at the table with me. Daniel, you've been monitoring German media right now. What more can you tell us about the situation? That's right. I've also been taking a look at uh, Twitter as well and the police uh, confirming some of the information that uh, we just heard there. Um, now that they've made it public so that everyone uh, can see via Twitter, um, we can take it as a source directly from them. They say that nearby the Breitscheidplatz, which is where this um, attack took place, mm -hmm. one uh, suspicious person, they said, um, has been arrested, but they're still checking to see whether this was the driver of the truck that was involved. Um, they say that someone who was um, in the truck has died on location. <clears throat> mm -hmm. They're confirming that right now. And, you know, this is something that we've heard about um, that could happen for a while. The US uh, State Department not too long ago, I think in November, warned that attacks like this could take place in Christmas markets um, they said that they had, uh, the State Department of the U.S., that they had credible information that ISIS and al-Qaeda were planning attacks on Christmas markets. Now, we can't say whether this is a terrorist event, um, but certainly a warning went out. The uh, U.S. Uh, uh, issued a travel alert warning its citizens to be careful at Christmas markets. Uh, and that was shortly after the French authorities thwarted an attack that could have killed hundreds in Paris as right. well. So a lot of people... Um, were wary that this kind of thing could happen. Exactly, and particularly this evening, I mean, there there was the um, the shooting death of the Russian ambassador in Ankara, um, in Turkey tonight. Um, that was a top story. There's also been an incident in Zurich, we understand, in a mosque. Um, so, you know, much of Europe has been on edge tonight. Um, if you're joining us, you're watching DW News live from Berlin tonight, Berlin. The scene of breaking news, an attack on a Christmas market, a truck plowing into a crowded area. Nine people are dead, at least 50 people have been injured. We understand the driver of the truck, the suspect, has been arrested by police. There was a passenger in the truck. We understand that passenger, that person is dead. Let's take a look now at where this apparent attack took place. There are, of course, Christmas markets all over 
the German capital, this one is in the heart of what is known as Old West Berlin, um, on one of the biggest and busiest shopping streets in the city. I think all of us here, you know, we've been there many, many times. Breitscheidplatz is um, the name of the area. It's normally closed to traffic. It has two major roads that run down either side of it. In the middle is the Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church. Um, around that would have been the stands for the Christmas market. This is where the truck drove up onto the pedestrian area. We understand um, at around 8 p.m. local time tonight, that is when the tragedy took place. All right, we have a roundup of what we know so far about this suspected attack here in Berlin. Let's go through the facts as they stand right now. A truck plowed into crowds at a busy Christmas market here in Berlin. Police say nine people are dead, at least 50 people injured. We understand one suspect fled and has now been arrested. The other passenger in the truck, we understand, died. An investigation into whether this incident is a terror attack is now ongoing. The vehicle, we understand, mounted the sidewalk, drove into the market, as we've been saying, plowing into a crowd of people. Police are calling on people in Berlin to stay at home tonight, saying that it's best just to not be out and about. Well, videos of the incident are also streaming in on social media. A German journalist from the newspaper, the Berliner Morgenpost, was live on Facebook shortly after the attack. Let's take a look at this video now. And you can hear the reporter speaking German there, saying that a truck has driven into the market. The video showing the panic and the chaos and the immediate aftermath of the attack. Several people on the ground, you can hear the reporter saying in German as well, on the ground injured while ambulances arrive at the scene. Now, Berlin police have been taking to Twitter to tell people to stay at home. They're also asking people to refrain from spreading hearsay and false rumors. Um, we've been reporting on this, of course, in connection with all types of, of tragedies, um, the, you know, the difficulties of sticking with the facts. And for anybody in Berlin tonight, use the Facebook safety check to let your loved ones know that you are safe so that they won't have to worry about you. Um, I've done that. I think we've all done that. We've um, you know, been touched by how many people have been writing in and asking us if we are okay tonight. Use that. Let, let people know that you are okay um, so that they don't worry about you. All right, I'm joined now by my colleague, Fabian van der Mark, one of our terrorism experts. So, Fabian, I mean, what, what more do we know right now? We don't know that much. And we definitely have to take, make sure that we don't speculate too much because that is, of course, a very uncertain and very unclear situation. It is highly unlikely that this is an accident, one would say, because uh, this is not how an accident happens. So mm -hmm. certainly police is investigating. They want to find out certainly who they have caught because we had those information that someone was caught. And of course, I mean, everyone associates uh, the biggest fears uh, in this situation. And it looks, of course, like a, a, a wanted scenario. It looks as if someone wanted to attack people on this Christmas market, that someone wanted to kill a lot of people. And that uh, has happened. The, the passenger in the truck um, dying, um, that, uh, that throws a twist into it, though, doesn't it? Um, do we know, have we heard anything about how that person died? Or do police know anything about why the person was in the truck to begin with? Mm. No. Um, at least I haven't spoken to the police on this particular fact. And, and as far as I know, the police hasn't informed public or uh, press on that. I mean, one could imagine a number of things that this person wanted to die, that whatever kind of suicide uh, component is part of this, this whole thing. Uh, of course, you can also die in car accidents, but that uh, 
doesn't really look like one no, at this point. No, that, that's well. true, based on what the police have said. Mm -hmm. um, we, we heard early on the police saying that, you know, they were, um, they were assuming that this was a terror attack, that it, you know, it had all the hallmarks of what could be a, a terror attack. Do we have a confirmation? I mean, have they said um, definitively that this was a terror attack? No, they haven't done that yet. They haven't ruled it out. Uh, they said that it looks pretty much like an attack. They haven't really spoken about a terrorist attack. This is, of course, the association. I mean, everyone thinks of the Nice attack, uh, a truck that was used. That is, of, of course, the, the Nice scenario that everyone is afraid of, that right. also security has... Uh, 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 prepared for in a number of places, like all over Europe, whenever there are bigger gatherings, this is always a scenario right. that is bared in mind by security experts, by the police, to make sure that it's as impossible or that it's as hard as possible to, to actually get a truck into a crowd of people. Right. But this was obviously here possible. And whoever is behind this, and if it's not an accident, um, then, of course, this is a question how this is uh, going to happen. Yeah, and, you know, we've also been saying um, throughout um, our coverage this evening that the, the police have been um, very forthcoming with, you know, the fact that there is no absolute security and at places like Christmas markets, you, you cannot expect there to be that. Um, but Germany's Christmas markets have, they've always been a major concern when it comes to terrorist threats, haven't they? I mean, why is that? Yeah, I mean, first of all, we had attempts of terrorist attacks on Christmas markets before in Germany. Um, there was one plot in, or at, at least close to the border in Strasbourg. There was one uh, attempted attack on a Christmas market. Uh, there were again and again warnings that a Christmas market might be a potential uh, uh, target for terrorists, since when we talk about Islamist terrorism, of course, this is not only a gathering of a number of people, it is also highly symbolic, of course, because it's like a Christian symbol, and that's right. like the reason for a Christmas market, of course, is a, a Christian background, and when you think of, of uh, terrorist strategies or uh, thinking of Islamist terrorism, of course, uh, a Christmas market is a potential um, target. Um, and we have seen even a couple of days ago an attack, an attempted attack on a Christmas market in the south of Germany, right. where a young boy actually uh, wanted to place uh, an explosive device on a Christmas market. And that, so, I mean, that was a shock too, right? That was in Ludwigshafen, uh, right? Absolutely. And uh, we understand it was a 12-year-old boy who tried to plant two bombs. One was at a Christmas market, we understand. The other one was in front of the town hall. And um, I remember we reported on that Friday and police were saying that they thought maybe that Islamist um, propaganda had radicalized the 12 year old. And maybe that we can understand too, that can contribute to the, the sense of uneasiness um, that people are experiencing right now, you know, and especially if something like this happens. Um, we want to just remind our viewers, if, if you're joining us right now, um, we're watching live pictures of the scene, as close to the scene as we can get right now in Western Berlin, where that, um, that attack took place tonight, a truck plowing into a crowded Christmas market. You see right there, there are police on guard. The area is on lockdown right now. And, um, and Fabian, we don't know, you know, if they're any plans to end that lockdown either, do we? I mean, this, the investigation is still ongoing. Yes, uh, the investigation is still ongoing. Uh, officials are, of course, still on high alert. They don't know whether, they don't know much really what this is all, is, is right. all about. But if it is a terrorist plot or whatever, <clears throat> they, of course, also have to consider that there is more to come. And it's very uh, important that we we stick to what we know, but right. uh, it's important also for the police to make sure that people are no longer insecure in Berlin. And that's why they have asked people to stay away from public places like this, because we just don't know what, what is, this is all about. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> and this also, you know, it throws the question, um, 
what's going to happen tomorrow and as we get closer to Christmas at these Christmas markets, um, this, this um, understandably so could scare a lot of people away from the Christmas markets. I mean, already, when you look at, uh, at the bigger German events uh, this year, for example, the Oktoberfest yeah. in Munich, there were less people uh, than 10 years in the last 10 years. So people are afraid. They know about this threat on so-called soft targets, right. like mass gatherings, like festivals, uh, Oktoberfest, Christmas market. So this is in people's mind. And I've been to this Christmas market, market for example, today, and there weren't that many people. It was like, uh, I mean, not that you could say that people are afraid, but when you talk to people who organize these kind of events, they have realized in the past that people are a bit afraid okay. and that people don't go that much to those uh, occasions, to those markets, for example. And then again, it's, it's really hard to protect a market like that. Right. And people also don't want to be in a, in a sort of like prison to celebrate Christmas, of course. And, of course not. Yeah. yeah, of course not. And, it, you know, just looking at the geography of where this attack um, took place, uh, it's understandable that, um, you know, you can't cordon off the streets completely, the entire perimeter. Um, it's, you know, it's just physically not possible if you still want people to be able to go in and enjoy uh, the Christmas market. Um, let's, if we could, I'm just I'm going to ask my producer where we're going to move right now. All right, we have some video and some information now about the truck that plowed into the crowd of people. I'm going to take a close-up look at the truck, if we can pull that video up. Um, what you can see is the front, um, the windshield is smashed. You see right there, the, the truck mounted the sidewalk, we're, we're told, and drove into the busy Christmas market. Um, nine people died, um, dozens were injured. Those are the numbers we have at the moment. And again, this is the video of the truck. Um, it's still hard to make out exactly even what the, the model, the make of that truck. I mean, Fabian, it, it looks like a, a tiny, or maybe it's not. Oh, I see. Now it's the side we were seeing. Oh, well, that's a sizable truck there. Yes, yes. Um, and that would we, of course, we can understand how that could have created many fatalities. Um, yeah, I mean, when the camera um, zooms out, you can see the size of, of that. Now, we believe the co-driver died during the crash. Police are now saying that the suspected driver has been arrested. We're told the driver fled the scene um, after the incident took place. And police have also confirmed that the truck has a Polish license plate. Um, a Polish license plate, that is the extent of the information that we have right now on the truck. And again, live pictures you're seeing of the truck that drove and plowed into a crowd of people at that Christmas market. Let's pull in our correspondent, Oliver Sallet. He is on the scene for us near the Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church where that incident took place tonight. Let's pull you over so you can connect with Oliver. Oliver, um, anything, have you been able to talk to anyone um, We've got a little bit of inf you know, more information coming in right now. For example, you know, the, the passenger dying in the truck. Um, have you been able to um, get anything new? Right, well, people I've spoken to told me that they were just having a, a glass of mild wine here uh, on the Christmas market of Breitscheidplatz when uh, suddenly they heard the sound of, of this truck uh, crashing into several wooden stalls, so that must have been a very, very loud sound. And then uh, people and the people running these uh, Christmas stalls here on the Christmas market were told uh, to close them down as quickly as possible. So there was some kind of uh, chaos and, and panic uh, going on as people were running away here as quickly as they could, dropping uh, everything they had in their hands. 
and uh, the area then was uh, uh, turned locked down here uh, very widely actually so uh, because in the first moments people were the police was still uh, on, on a manhunt here really now um, the the rescue workers gave a little a press conference here uh, they said that there are several dozens, in fact, about 130 uh, officers here deployed, and that many people who were who were injured in the attack are still in uh, in a life-threatening condition right now, as we speak. And what you can see here behind me is that uh, ambulance cars and um, uh, rescue workers are now slowly leaving the site, um, bringing people to the hospitals to receive treatment. Oliver. Stand by there. We just want to um, let our viewers know what official reaction has been to tonight's uh, events. The German Chancellor Angela Merkel has responded to the attack through her spokesperson. The statement tonight, um, we are mourning the dead and hope the many injured people can get help. The interior minister of Germany, Thomas de Mazier, has also issued a statement. Now, he is the person responsible for domestic security in Germany. He said that he is in direct contact with local authorities. He has offered the support of federal police the interior minister saying that his thoughts are with the victims, loved ones, and the injured after this terrible incident. The mayor of Berlin, Michael Müller, was on the scene. We've seen images of him this evening talking to reporters. Um, we saw him earlier down there. He said that um, this was a, a terrible thing to see. He said that he was shocked because he'd always hoped never to see a situation like this in Berlin. Um, he added the situation is um, under control. And Oliver, that is uh, something I want to throw back to you. Um, can we get back to Oliver? Yes. Um, the situation being under control, um, that's what we're hearing right now from the, the mayor of Berlin. Um, is that what you, can you ascertain that as well that you know that it's all stand down and everything is under control right now well it does look like it but that doesn't change the situation that people here are under shock and um uh, you cannot imagine how quickly a, a very lively and happy place here turned into a a, a, a scene of sadness and um, we're just at, at one of the very many Christmas markets here and um, the the lockdown continues but but the situation of course is under control um, I was I was saying that that uh, in spite of that it's a very 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 sad night and just imagine one of the very many Christmas markets here um, all over the city where people would go after work um, to enjoy the atmosphere here just a few days before Christmas happens. And in addition to that, uh, this area here is one of the major shopping areas in the western part of the city where um, people do their Christmas shopping. Many, many people were squeezing in here tonight uh, on, on the sidewalks behind these wooden Christmas stalls where vendors would sell mild wine, uh, grilled sausages, sweets, uh, all sorts of things and then other people would do their Christmas shopping and where all this comes together on the sidewalks here uh, in the city um, this is just a place that leaves people very vulnerable especially for some unexpected uh, uh, events like like a, a usual truck um, that you would see uh, everywhere on the street actually um, taking up speed and, and driving into a big group of people here tonight yeah. All right, Oliver Salat there, live on the scene of that tragedy tonight in Western Berlin. Oliver, thank you very much. We have a roundup now of what we know so far about this suspected attack here in Berlin. We want to go through the, the facts um, as they stand right now. A truck 
with a Polish license plate plowed into crowds at a Christmas market tonight. Police saying nine people are dead, at least 50 have been injured. One suspect, we are told, fled the scene. He was apprehended later. He's in police custody. The other occupant, the passenger in the truck, we understand, died. An investigation is underway into whether the incident is a terror attack. Um, we cannot confirm that right now. Police saying that is an ongoing investigation. Reports say that the truck mounted the sidewalk and, and drove into the market, um, hitting a crowd of people. Police have called on the people of Berlin to stay at home, to stay indoors tonight. Um, but they also say that there are no immediate signs of um, any more danger. We're seeing that also um, the tweets coming from the Berlin Police Department saying that um, there is no reason to believe that there are any um, related incidents um, to tonight's tragedy there at that Christmas market. All right, our political correspondent, Melinda Crane, is on the story with us. Um, Melinda, what's the latest, any more official reaction to this? Well, the German uh, justice minister has issued condolences to all uh, victims and survivors and said that Germany's uh, sympathies uh, are with all of those who were at this uh, Christmas market this evening. And he's also said that the, uh, that the state prosecutor, the federal prosecutor, will be taking over the case. So not only uh, the interior minister saying that federal uh, security uh, uh, services would be closely cooperating with Berlin's police, but also the justice minister saying this will go to the federal level in terms of the investigation. So clearly and why uh, is that, that Melinda, also an indication that, that there is, well, uh, it would be an indication that there is, of course, concern that this could have been a terrorist attack, in which case it would be in the hands of the federal authorities. Okay. And, and Melinda, maybe if you could tell us, when is it, when does the decision come um, for um, an investigation to move from the local police level to the, the federal level, I mean, it, in Germany, it, do they have to have tangible evidence that there may be um, some type of terror motive or is it just um, plausible cause? I mean, how, how does that work? I don't know the absolute intricacies of the procedure, but I think certainly if there was probable cause and uh, circumstantial evidence, then that might be one reason. And then also simply for purposes of reinforcing the investigation, the federal authorities have a lot of resources at their disposal, and we are, of course, here in the nation's capital. So all of those might argue, if not for uh, only close cooperation, then uh, for that level of support uh, at the federal level. And as we've also heard the chancellor is being intensively briefed on the circumstances, on developments. Uh, and we've heard, as I said, from both the interior minister and the justice minister on this. So clearly uh, uh, the entire government watching this uh, very, very carefully. And as they well might, uh, because there have been uh, concerns and warnings for months. I mentioned a bit earlier in our program that the chancellor herself said just a week ago that with IS, Islamic State on the retreat in the Middle East, we could well see a heightened threat of attack here in Germany, perhaps as some uh, German-based uh, jihadists who went to fight with IS <clears throat> there do try to return home, or simply people who are IS sympathizers here in Germany. We're told there are more radical Islamists, uh, Islamists uh, in German prisons now than there ever have been before, so clearly there's been an effort by uh, police and security authorities to round up those who could uh, provide, uh, who could be a risk, uh, but uh, many others, no doubt, uh, who could be at large. And authorities mm. have long warned that it is inevitable that at some point uh, there will be a terrorist attack of larger proportions uh, in Germany, that they do their best to foil such attacks. And in fact, they have foiled uh, attacks over the years, but that, uh, that Germany, like every other European country, or uh, for that matter, uh, countries all over the world, is at risk.